What's up guys, Zami here and you're watching Heavy Metal Pump. Today we're going to look at the product from Grim Grease. This is the Cream Pomade, a water-based pomade with a firm hold and medium to high shine. I bought it off a guy from the Singapore Pomade Group recently and after using it for the past month, I thought I'd give my thoughts on it. First up, let's talk about the scent. If you bought the Cream Pomade directly from the Grim Grease website, there are actually two scent options. The one I have is the original scent. And what I get is a musky, woody scent with some citrusy top notes. If I'm being honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the scent when I first got it, but after using it for a couple of times, I've grown to quite like it. Either way, it's a fairly light scent that's not really gonna overpower any cologne that you might be wearing. Now on to packaging and presentation. The pomade comes in a 4 ounce glass jar with an aluminium lid. You get labels around the side and on the lid with this really clean design. The directions and ingredients are on the sides of the label and the foil text on the labels really make the design stand out. Looking inside the jar, you'll be met with a very creamy looking pomade. Next up, application. As expected, the pomade has a nice and creamy scoop to it. Just a small amount of pressure is required and it breaks down really smooth and lotion-y, but gets slightly tacky once it goes clear. It goes into the hair fairly easy with very slight tuck to it. You can apply this into towel dried hair to alleviate any tugging or pulling, but I find that applying in dry hair gives me better results overall. For this demo, I'm using about 4 to 5 scoops. Combing the pomade through is smooth as well. There's really not much resistance to it as you would expect from something this creamy. The slickness isn't great, but it's definitely good enough to pull off cleaner styles. It has a sort of dry slickness that's common with unorthodox water-based pomades. You get a lightweight but good solid hold with this too. It's pretty easy to get good height and volume which doesn't feel weighed down. For the shine, I mostly get a low shine with it. Even if I apply this in towel dried hair, I don't really get the advertised medium to high shine. To be honest, I don't think that's a bad thing which I'll get more into detail later. This pomade has a nice overall balance which you can see in the final result here. Now the cream pomade is advertised as a versatile product. On Green Grease's website, it says to use a small amount for messy and loose hairstyles and to use more for tight, slick hairstyles and I think this product achieves that pretty well. Even though it doesn't provide me with the medium to high shine it claims to have, I think the low shine works more into its favour better. I can easily use this, leave the house with a cleaner style, and even if it gets messed up throughout the day, it's still capable of managing a looser look. I also find that this pomade has a bit of a setting period, especially when used in damp or towel dried hair. Of course, it's not going to feel as exaggerated compared to a gel pomade, but I do find that I get a better restyle after letting it set for about half an hour because the hole just feels more solid. The endurance on this feels pretty good for me as well. Because it does feel more lightweight, I wouldn't use this for intensive activities but it holds up pretty well for most days. Versatility is definitely one of the pomade's strong suits which makes it great for daily average use. As for washing it out, I find that one wash with shampoo will get the job done. Rinsing does leave behind a clean and slightly waxy buildup which honestly doesn't really do much for me for next day use. So final thoughts on the Grim Grease Cream Pomade. I think it's a great daily driver. It's really easy to use, has good overall performance, and is versatile enough to fit a wide range of hairstyles. If you're looking for a well-balanced water-based pomade, this is a pretty solid option. So yeah, I think that's about it. Hope you liked the review. Do leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, all that YouTube nonsense, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.